my name is Maria. I am Iranian, but I was born and raised in UAE, and I'm still living here as well. So I'm going to talk about the Laristani dialect, also known as Achomi, uh, which was uh, spoken, uh, which was spoken in the Parthian and the Sassanid Empire, uh, which goes back to 1000 BC. Uh, there are some also evidences that showcase that uh, it goes also to the Avestan era, also known as Avestan era. Uh, the Achame dialect is also uh, widely spoken in the southern part of Iran, specifically in Fars and West Hormozgan provinces and some parts of Kerman and Boucher. Yeah. Hi, my name is Yassi. I'm from Iran and now I live in Canada. I love languages and I'm very happy to be participating in this video. I do like learning other languages and I'm learning a few at the moment. And uh, also I make some videos for language learners in Iran. Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Iqbal. I'm from Badakhshan, Afghanistan, uh, and I speak uh, Farsi, like literally our dialect is like Dari. And I speak five languages and uh, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you, very happy to have all you here and very excited for this video, uh, which I think is, is quite important for many people across the region, Persian speakers, and also people who are of Iranian descent that have uh, migrated to different parts of the Middle East. Uh, so as you will see, and you'll learn a lot through the process. But what we're gonna do for this video is we're gonna start with three short sentences, uh, and then we're gonna move to something a little bit more challenging. So whenever you're ready, Mayim, you can go ahead and read the first one. Uh, so the first one is uh, Eros Pishin, so today, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> this is pretty easy. Uh, patient, patient is like, uh, uh, sit down, yeah, for like lunch. No, fishing, uh, it means noon, noon, okay, yeah. So let me say it one more time. Eros pishin dir chosht mukhade. I I had bread late today. <laughs> late is today is correct, but the other parts no. <laughs> we we also we also use like pishin for the noon, yeah, but yeah, like for, yeah, but and chosht as well. Chosht is like, uh, Chosht and Peshin is the same in, in Afghanistan. I mean, like. Yeah, they're similar, but in our dialect, it can mean different thing too. For, for example, for non Chosht, we say non Chosht, it means like uh, for the lunch. Yes, that's correct. It means lunch. Chosht yeah. means lunch. The whole sentence means that today we ate lunch late. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Like chosht and peshin in, a, in, in, in the same sentences, like kind of a different words because we don't use it. We, we say like, imruz, uh, dir non in chosht for them. Non, literally we say for like food. Yeah, I get it what you mean. But we say uh, for like time, like uh, for noon and afternoon, we use two different like peshin, pasin. And for mm -hmm. a lunch, we say chosht, just chosht, not peshin. Peshin, it means noon, like the time. Oh, I see. Uh, this one is pretty easy and it's very similar to the Farsi standard Farsi. Ma haroz so achem piyodaravi. Every morning I go for a walk. Yes, that's correct. Just the verb yeah. is different. Yeah, like it is very easy. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't easy. <laughs> so yeah. in Achomi, uh, the verb uh, like to go uh, is cheda. Achim, it means I go. And the word actually oh. comes from the verb. <laughs> That's why. Mm. Oh. Yeah, for I, we also say ma. We don't say man. We say ma. Ma, yeah. Ma. Actually, yeah. the Lorenzoni dialect is very close to dairy dialect. I can't understand what they're saying. More than the Farsi <laughs> standard in your own. It's yeah, very... yeah. I, I, I also <laughs> feel the same because when you like speak, except the, the verb parts, I feel like you are speaking dairy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'll go to the third one. De aleki cheram ekada sarden ke dagla muabarki. 
Well, the, the, this one was very hard. Chedam uh, is the same as walk. It's like going, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to say one more time, but slowly, because it's a long one. Just the first part is de aleki cheda. Yesterday, I went for a walk. Just the yesterday part is correct, but the other part is not. Aleki in Persian means fake, but I think it doesn't make sense here. No, no it doesn't mean that. <laughs> we don't say aleki, we say alaki for that word. Oh, it's the same as Persian. Yeah. So it means you walked somewhere. It's a location. Yeah, we went somewhere. Yeah, we walked somewhere. Yeah, it's a location. So, de aleki chedam ekada sarden ke dagla wabarki. It was uh, so cold that it was so not cold that something. Yes, it's Mount. Ki yeah, not... uh -huh. yeah. So yesterday we walked to mountain and like the weather was very cold. And uh, can you like say the, the part that we didn't understand? And it was it was very cold that we like froze. No, <laughs> you're getting all correct. Uh, just the last part is not. <laughs> People wore warm oh. clothes. Oh, is it? No, Dagla oh. is a piece of clothing. Oh. oh. Barki, it means to, you know, to wear. It, mean, it comes from the very old Persian word bar kardan, bar. So basically, like yesterday, we went to the mountain, and because it was very cold, we were warm clothes we wore a long coat yes a long coat mm. yeah it, it, it's it intensifies on a word like it was so cold it comes from uh, it, it's, 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 it's like yeah we, we also say yes. like it was very cold yeah 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 but we we shorten so it and we say exactly that's why we say that's it mm. Mm. Do you, do you, can you read that sentence now once in the sense since you know it now i think when you listen to it when you hear it it might sound a little bit just read it again one more time yeah so de aleki chedam ekata sarden ke dagla mwabak now we get it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's difficult but now that you understand it makes more sense you know now that you know like it's like okay yeah no i i could see that uh, and uh, as Marion mentioned, there are a lot of um, uh, original Persian words that are still used in Achomidat in, in Iran. Um, they're used in poetry, they're used in literature, but not in the common spoken language. So uh, that is also uh, uh, very evident when you hear the your conversations and sentences. So now we'll do this longer part. So we, we decided we're gonna read like a small portion of it first and we'll see how it goes. Uh, before we decide what we're going to do with the rest of it, because it's very long, the rest of it. So. Yeah, it's very long. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, it's a folklore story that was that used to tell us our grandmas, our mother, our fathers, so women, so to children, so they when they go to sleep. So, so let me start again. Yak domonoshtoroi deno yak omoribai. Yak ruzi domonoshtoroi she omoribai got achama khuna bar khuma unak bukonam. It looks a very sweet language, but like <laughs> so um, what you have what you should do, I think, is uh break it down like part by part now. Yeah. Because so, I'm sure a lot of stuff stood out for you, but it's hard yeah. to remember what she said. So <laughs> so we'll I do think... it like this. I think it was about two people that they it was in winter and yeah they didn't want to leave home something like that there was in a place um, but, uh, okay, okay i'll just say okay. it slow okay yak domono shtoroi den o yak o moribai stress not the camel yes it's camel so yak yak domono shtoroi den o yak o moribai Oh, is it a fox? Yes. Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> So it says yak do monastery then. So um in the Larisani dialect, uh, for aunt we don't say khala, we say domuni. And uh omoi riba means uh uncle fox. Omoi, it mm -hmm. comes from Amu in the Persian. Mm -hmm. So it was one uh uh uncle camel and one uh sorry, one aunt uh, aunt camel and one uncle fox, which the story goes on. Uh yak ruzi. Domonashtoroi, Sha Omori by Got. Yeah, the one day Fox, the Fox, Uncle Fox, and Auntie Camel did something. So the camel said something to the fox. Yes, not, oh yes, the camel said something to the fox. Achama Huna Barhomong Nakpukona. I'm going home to do something? No, no. <laughs> to, to build a home? <laughs> yes, to build a home. Nak, yeah. nak, nak, it's a verb with bokonam, it comes together. So to build something. Nak, nak, it's to building. Oh, okay. yeah. Continuous part is that acham funa barhomo nak bokonam ke zemeson ahonday. Because the winter is coming. Yeah. Uh, coming, we say honda, ahonday. So the verb is the Hyundai. Then it's Riba Yoshgot Mam Noi Khuna Khuna Men Domonishturi Achi Bar Khosh Khuna Nakako. The fox said that I have a home. Yes, something like this. Mam Noi Khuna. I don't need it. I have a home already. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Then Domonishturi Yoshgot Domonishturi Achi. The camel went to make the build the house, yes. went on to build the house for oh, himself. Build, yeah. Oh, for himself. Yeah. yeah. Great job, actually. <laughs> yeah, that, that was actually much better than I thought. Like, I, I thought we would, because I shortened it to this portion. I'm like, the, the rest, like, we'll see how it is. Like, I just want to say for the audience, this was, this was a very long, uh, story right so we just took a portion of it but since you guys did like well with it uh we'll just do a couple of more sentences so the next part is uh so when when, 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 when yeah, go ahead when 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 the winter came the fox's home got ruined or destroyed exactly mm -hmm. the next part is Oshno fami chung bukon erone afekat ki ochi khune domonoshtori. Oshno is not the camel again here, right? No, osh, uh, it's a pronoun. Mm -hmm. Oshno fami. It doesn't uh, it's a it's pronoun. It didn't know what to do, or he didn't know what to do? Yes, oshno, it means him. Mm -hmm. Fami comes from the understanding of it. Mm. So the uh, the next part is erone afekat. Like um, let me just say it, like erone erone afekat. Like immediately. Yes, suddenly he you know came up with something. Mm. Oh, Afekat. yeah. Afekat, it means uh, he thought. Yeah. Afekat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Erone afekat. So he suddenly thought that he could go to uh, the camel's home? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The camel opened the door. And what, what was the second part? در وزش کی اویگوت از کاهن داش؟ And told him. And the last part. As as کاهن داش. Honash is it his home? No, no, not Honash. Honash. Oh, Honash. Oh. Does it mean to come? Yeah, it means uh, where are you coming from? Like where, uh -huh. but like uh -huh. coming from. Uh -huh. yeah. 
Okay, so uh, ribai mas khunamu. This is pretty easy. I'm coming from home, from my home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That uh, sorry. <laughs> Next is that um, do monastery aiki parchi honsesh aiki. What what for? The first part was what is asking yeah, question. Parchi honsesh aiki. Why Again, are you here? Why yeah, are you here? Yeah. Why did you come here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so for like for Bachi uh, in our province, like in our like our language, I mean that dairy dialect in Afghanistan also has so many other forms. Yeah, so yeah. in yeah, in, in my province, which is like Badakhshan, sometimes for asking why we, we say Bachi, we don't use chra, chra why mm. we say Bachi. Yeah, we say yeah. chero, chero. It's like oh. uh, the pronunciation is similar to Tajik Farsi, I think. Chero. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We say we say chero, chero or yeah. parayachi, which means for what? That yeah. is what for. Bachi. Bachi. Yeah. Yeah, bachi is also like for what? Why? <laughs> uh, then uh ribai o good ki punamo porto por over the like our home is full of water. Yeah, I think yeah. they both, they knew that he would understand it because yeah. yeah. But okay. Bedo eki pase daroza ochat. Bedo eki pase darvoza ochat. Uh darvoza means the door. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Pase pase darvoza ochat. Like behind the door? Yes, behind. Yeah. The door. Hochat. The verb is hochat. It's like it doesn't have anything like to do with sleep, right? It does. It means oh. sleeping. Okay. Hochat. It means. Oh, okay, so uh, sleep behind my door. Yes. So sleep mm. behind my door. Yeah. Yeah, like when... in Afghanistan, we also like say that we uh, for the door we say that was a like we barely use that. Yeah, that was a. That was also yeah. Yeah, but we say that. Yeah. Yeah, we where that, that, was, that, is, that was is more used for a gate in in, yeah, in, sure. in Iran. Yeah. Yeah. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mariam, I think in a lot of the Arabic uh, dialects in the Persian Gulf, they use the the Persian word that was it. I know in like Bahrain and Kuwait, they because um, these uh, actually these people have Persian origin. They're not Arabs, so they actually use the Persian words. Okay. which was passed down yeah. by their parents yeah okay and and but i i feel like it has also like caught on with the non-persian like Arab yeah, yeah. yeah here okay. in uae even the arab ones that if they are arab like the origin is arab they still use the some of the words of the the uh, persian dialect of the uh, laristani has influenced them like they say mm -hmm. g which like all of most of the arabs they don't have g mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so we said tell bedo eke pas darwaza akhat come here uh, sleep behind the door uh, and the next part is that ribai man make nakhatam daraze guti guti mali veket i can't sleep the fox said i can't sleep because the door darwaza ye guti guti mali veket what is guti guti uh, I think I think he is trying to like to degrade uh, his home, Camel's home. No, no. That was a guti guti. It's um, uh, it's adjective. Guti. It's adjective. If you think very carefully. Is it big? Yes. Oh. So the fox says, "I won't sleep there." That was a guti guti. The big door. Mali beket. Li, you said means on. It might yeah, uh, on me. On me, something on me. Beket is the verb. Mm, it might fall on me. Yes. Kata mm. means to fall. Beket mm. means to fall on me. Yeah. Okay. Domonosturi agi nepa buru pane choma hochat. Uncle Camel told him, go away. Buru. Yeah, it goes somewhere. Nepa, buru, pane, homa, hochat. Goes, 
he's uh, she's telling him to go sleep somewhere else like, yes where yeah buru pane pane oma so she's telling him to go sleep some other side of the door maybe some other place of the house mm, maybe on the top of the house oh no no nepa buru pane homa oha homa you know what's homa you get it like sleeping and a hoha means sleeping homa mm. is a thing so, so that next to the pot go sleep next to the pot nepa buru pane yes pane means next to mm homa -hmm. oha Pan, I think it comes from the word pahlu in Farsi. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. The next part is that ribayagi homaye guti guti mali beket. Oh, the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so the big pot is going to follow me. Follow me. The big pot is going to follow me. Shaharjo agot hokhat, shagot manokhat. Harjo means every, everywhere. Yeah. Wherever I sleep, it will fall on me, except like the home. No, no, no. Sha. It's again a pronoun. Shaharjo agot hochat shagot manochat. If I sleep uh, and everywhere, like anywhere. Uh, the pronoun is not I, it's third person, Sha'agot. Yeah. So everywhere he wanted to sleep. Uh, not he. Like it is, she... a thing, but indirect, I don't know how to explain it. We don't have this in English. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to say it. Okay. It means that uh, whenever, wherever he told him to sleep, he said, I won't sleep there. Okay. Yeah, he means that person, the third person. Because I'm telling the story, it becomes third person. Yeah. Okay, the next part is Oshgo Puro Nepa Pane O Singe Mosi Hochat. Let me just adjust it one more time. Oshgo Boro Nepa Pane Kize Mosi Hochat. Kize means like Kuze, right? Yes, that's why I'll change it so you can get it. <laughs> 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 so go sleep he told she told him to go sleep next to that pot again another pot another pot which has must which has yogurt in it yeah oh uh, yeah okay. so but uh bad agi mosum nekhoresha ke domot az bochok abolem don't eat my yogurt yeah don't eat my yogurt ke or as bochok abolem, or or I will hang beat you your up. tail. <laughs> it what? I will beat you. I think. No, no, no. Domot, uh, you see, got the dom part. Domot as bochok abolem. Yeah, I will do something to your tail, or I will grab you by your tail. <laughs> Domot as bochok abolem it means I will cut your tail. Yeah, yeah. Bochok means it means like like I don't know how to say in English. <laughs> Tota, like to end of it. Yeah. Bolem, mm. it comes from Boridan. Just say le. Oy got kha. Raft khatu nisfu shu gushnashbi. Okay, this is pretty easy. Like he yeah. said okay, and then he like went and in the middle of the night he got um hungry. Hungry. Yeah. yeah. Ha, it's actually, it's very, very, very widely used in the dialect. Like you say for everything. Okay, no, whatever, what what you're saying, like ha, ha, like just, just have different tones. Yeah, we, we also use that ha. Yeah, yeah. Even, ha uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, even northern part of Iran uses ha. It's very interesting to see the similarities. Rosso, gesh toshti, ke kasot puramosan. Uh, the second part means the uh, pot is full of yogurt. Yeah. 
but the first part is rosso. It, it's referring to the fox again. Rosso gesht oshdi. Oshdi. I said okay. to you, you what means? Yeah. Okay, fox. The, the fox went and saw the pot that is full of yogurt. Yogurt, yeah. Rosso. It means to got up. Like he got up. Mm. Yeah, he got up mm. because it was spooky, and then he got up. Yeah. Is it similar to like rast? Rast stuff. He's you know like getting yes. up, maybe like that. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but then um kasot for a muscle it means bowl of yogurt kasot we say kasot is then uh harche mosyo hamash oshkha osera shoy bas he probably ate all the yogurt yeah and then close the head of the uh the pot mm -hmm. yeah so ke daroshki ke dar voz bokon ke daruchi in the morning no there's no morning so ke da so ke dar oshki ke dar voz bokon ke daruchi like he opened the door to 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 go out or to leave to leave yeah mm. uh, or leaving or like outside we say dar like we went mm. that we went Outside, we say, "Raf sama dar." Okay, it's like similar to dar raf. Means like, we yeah. don't like he went out. Yeah. Har yeah. uh, chi ushki ushne shovi voz buko. he tried a lot. No matter how much he tried, he couldn't open the door. Okay, good. Kind of enough. Yeah. Ushne shovi. It means uh, couldn't. Mm. تا وقتی که اشتری صداشش اویشنافت. ایوی. Yeah. So until the camel heard him. Heard him, yeah. اویگوت چونگین چونگین. He said something. What, what is that word? چونگین چونگین. چونگین چونگین چونگین. Like uh, to stay calm or to wait? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it's like asking, like Chuyen, Chuyen. What's up? Like, what? Like what? what? Like Chie. Like, yeah, but I think this comes from Chigune, like how, but somehow um, it's said to Chuyen. Ribayagi Ichi Dar Vosbuko Mai Chama Huna Mun Koroman. Yeah, the fox said that nothing uh, opened the door, so I will go to my home and like I will work. Yes, yes, I have something to do. Yeah. خب سور بکو الان اتام واز کنم. Wait, well yeah. wait, I will open up. چای بکنم بشم ماسوم ادنه خالی. Chai bukanam is like, like, what should I do? No, no. I think like, let me check the the pot if my yogurt oh. is still there. Yes. Chai mm. bukanam, it means let me see. <laughs> like, mm. let me see. It comes from chash, chai, it becomes chai. Oh. Uh, for seeing, we use, mostly we use chash, chash karda and chash keda. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it means I haven't eaten it. Like, have you eaten it or not? I want to check out if you have eaten my yogurt or not. Mm -hmm. Then the next part is Chashushki Uidi Kehama Shoshkarde. Okay, it's, it's easy as well. Like, yeah. when he saw, uh, he saw that, like, uh, he ate everything. Yes. Then it's Raf Kechiosh word. Oh, she brought a uh, she brought a pair of scissors to cut the tail. Yes, <laughs> I think he cut the tail, right? Or to 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 cut the tail, or he already cut the tail. He cut the tail. Yeah. Rivai, giri khushki ke mako mako dumo machi bar dolote koko mai. 
don't do it. Don't cut my tail. Girih Oshki. Like he cried. Cried, yeah. Uh, yeah. Girih Oshki, Mako, Mako, Tomo, Machin. Don't cut my tail. Don't Machin. do it. Bar, do vote, co como mai. Coco. Is it like my dad or brother? It's Col a bro. Col Colco is your brother. Uh, okay, Colco is like in, in our dialect is uh, for uncle. Like in your own this amo, we, we say Coco. Uh, for us, uh, Coco is bigger brother because in which in each of them we have different names for bigger brother, uh, younger brother, and bigger sister oh. and younger sister. We have different names. Coco is used for bigger brother. Like we say Aka for like in, in some parts of Afghanistan, they say Aka for bigger brother. It's similar, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for a uh, younger brother, we say Berosi. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, like so he said, he said that I like I will uh, I will call my bigger brother. No, no. It, it, let me just say it again. Giri khushki ke mako mako domo machi bar dovote koko komai. Bar duote kokomo mai. Okay, for for the like for the wedding of my brother. Yes, mai it means to having like I want something like for we use this a lot like if you want to say I want to buy something we say mai like mm. something. Like that. Okay, mm -hmm. so so like he wants to have it for his uh, big uh, brother's wedding. Yeah, he wants to keep his tail for the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nepa. Buro mar shirbu ke mos bar khom nak bukonem u dumot a So go get some milk so I can make yogurt and I return your tail. Yes. Hichi dia hami aisi pane eta pane anta. Next to something. No, no, that's the word. Pane, you're in this another thing. Okay, I'm just going to say sorry because this part is a little bit difficult. Hichi means like, anyway, dia hami achi pane eta pane anta. Oh, so he went here and he went there, maybe? He just yes, exactly. Kept running yeah. around. Hichi mm -hmm. dia, it means, anyway, hichi dia, or I think it's hard to say, hichi uh, dige, hichi dige. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hami, it means uh, constantly. Hami. Achi, pane eta, pane anta. Uh, this is like a proverb or something like pane eta, pane anta means going in there and there. It's like this. Ke, ma ke machi shode. Okay. So, he chidia, hami, achi, pane eta, pane anta, ke machi shode. Machi shode. This is the last part of it. Mm. What is machi? Can you give a little hint? Um, machi. Uh, I can't give a hint because it's not that. I'm just gonna say what it means. Machi. It means things. <laughs> it means things. Machi shode. Mm. Things. Shode is the verb. Machi shode means to give things. So ode it's not to dodan. We just you know, remove the first part. I don't know. <laughs> so he wants to give everything to her. That's no, it says that uh, hichi dia hami achi pane etau anta ke machi shode. So he goes around to, to from place, place to place to person to person to gather or get the milk for to mm -hmm. give it to the to make the yogurt. So the the, the continuous part is that ocherosh. Ine abi. Mor khoi shade. At the end. Think, yeah. Yeah, okhresh ine abi means the, at the end. Mor khoi shade. Mor, like hen, like the chicken. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Khoi. Like oh, egg. Yeah. Khoi yeah. shade. Again, shade means giving. As uh, the last part is ode. Khoi a koliade. Like a gypsy? Yeah. Yes, a nomad? 
Yeah, yeah. Mm. Hoy a coliate. So it gives ick to the coli or the oh, got it. Coliam. Kasubir shade? The brush. Something, <laughs> yeah, br something like broom, I think. Kasubir. So um, the next part is that Berka avomare. So he does something with the kasubir. Berka avomare. Berka, is it like a maybe pond? Berka is berke. It's that structural really you can see from Yaz to southern part of Iran. It's a ab ambor, I think in Persian they call it ab ambor. Oh, oh, okay. It's also in Persian berke is like pond or lake, maybe small. Lake. No, we just use yeah. it that only for all. I think they have, they have mm. similar background, yeah. Mm. So berka uh, avomare with like a broom or something, it does something to Berka. Cleans it? Yeah. Vomare, it means to clean it, Vomare. Berka Oshadi? Gave him something, the Berka o, gave him. O. o means water? Yeah, O means water. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's got water o. now. Yeah, then O Amode? Uh, water is ready. No, 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 not amode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are two different words. Oh, amode. Oh, de. It means giving. It, the whole the sequence is like giving this, giving that, but mm -hmm. the verbs are like the nouns are different. So he got the water from the berke or the water storage, and he gave the water to something else. Oh, amode. So he gave no water idea. to something else. He gave the water to something else. Yeah. And that something else is a? It's ma. 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 Like, like the moon? Uh, we also say ma to moon, but this, this is different. <laughs> is it similar or is it totally different? Totally different. It's like uh, we usually give water to what kind of creature? Mm. The plants? Like to plant, it's, to, yeah, to a tree, of, it's to a kind tree. Of a tree. Yeah. Mm. Ma, it means a uh, palm tree. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So it gives water to palm tree or a tree. Ma kang shebe. So the palm tree gave him something at. Give the... something. Yes. Mm hmm. Because this like. It gives, uh, let me say again, mo, the tree, kang, shade, kang. Palm tree. Probably the dates. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so the, to the uh, accumulation of dates that are together, we say kang ye mo. To date we say or mo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kang apade. So he, again, the same word like the previous one. Previous one, but so. it's, it's giving it's giving the uh, the day to something else again. Kang apade. Here it's again a creature, but this is a living creature, not a planet. <laughs> is it like panda, like a bird? No, no, no. No. He gave the this to something, someone like something else, right? Yeah, something else. Pa. The, the thing is called pa or the creature. Pa. It's a sheep. Yeah. Pa. pa. Like, pa is totally different. Like, I never yeah. heard of yeah. that. Yeah. I yeah. know. It's not related to any of <laughs> Okay. So, pa shir mm -hmm. Okay. Then, like, the sheep give him uh, milk. Milk? Yeah. Shir adomo no shteriade. And then he gives the milk to the uh, camel. Yeah. Um, and the uh, and the auntie camel gave, gave gives him back the tail. But what is the word? What kind of tail? Like Golpalangi. <laughs> I mean like I don't know how to explain it, like very colorful, beautiful. Golpalangi. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> 
گپ ما خشی خشی گربای دوما شبال کشی This doesn't have any kind of meaning. It's just something you say end of the story. <laughs> But yeah. I can say what it means exactly. So gap ma, it means talking gap. Gap zada. Gap ma khashi khashi, it means my word was very nice. Gorvai duma shabal kishi, it means the cat just uh, stomp his tail into the ground. It's finished like it's going. That story is okay. finished. Yeah. Wow. Very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting and very, very beautiful to see how Uh, the, the language and the culture is being preserved despite being away from, uh, you know, the, from Iran for such a long time. So I, I, I really, really love seeing that and I appreciate that so much. And I appreciate the fact that you put it and you brought it here. And, and uh, I, I hope that a lot of people become familiar with it and get to know about it, and especially the, the people and the history, because it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, yeah, a lot of people in Iran don't know we even exist. Like, exactly. They think You think Southern part of Iran? Oh, okay, it's just like one <coughs> fan that I've also almost gone. They don't know we there's such a diverse ethnicity dialects in southern part of Iran itself. Like it's I'm so glad that I should I can showcase my culture and my dialect. One thing I have really uh figured out, like understood from the difference between the standard Persian and our dialect is that the standard Persian has been influenced a lot by Arabic words and which is very uh, like confusing to me like why but have an our dialect it doesn't have any arabic influence we, we even the arabic words we don't pronounce it like or ain we don't say at all like even the arabic influence word we don't pronounce it arabic and, and i find uh, that interesting because the people who speak laris night are been living with arabic speakers for a, for a very long time I never mixed up I, yeah Uh, so it's actually the area which speak this dialect. It's very diverse. Like we have from Fars, Hormozgan. The Hormozgan is mostly the western part, which has border with Fars again because people immigrated from that part. And um, in the Fars region, the Lorestan region, they haven't even got mixed up with us. They're just so secluded and just their own dialect. They have, and even amongst us, we have different dialects. Mm -hmm. Like again, it becomes broken down into other regions and dialects. Yeah, and um, yeah. So when uh, people ask us, and even, even in Iran, they don't know we're from South. They mostly think they're from Northern part of Iran. Or in Iran, they mostly mistake me for being Mashad. Mashadi, I don't know why. They think they say that your face, your dialect similar to them. I don't know. I have real much on the lines. I think it's because like in Mashhad uh, and especially in, in Khorasan, they would use a lot as, as Iqbal, you probably know, a lot of times they will use words that are common in Afghanistan as well. Yeah, and, that's correct. Yeah. Like a lot you, of people also mistake me for Afghan, Afghan person, yeah. Yeah, like usually the, the, the dialect that uh, in Mashhad and in Herat is very similar. Yes, mm. close exactly. to each other. I, I just say, like, for me, this was really beautiful. It was really wonderful. So thank you so much for sharing that, Mayim. You're welcome. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you so much, Bahadur. Thank you, Maryam. It was amazing. I learned a lot and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, I am also one of those Persians that maybe is not very familiar with this uh, language and culture. And I would like to maybe spread the word from now on and tell people sure. about it. Uh, yeah, guys interested, I can give you also the history background and why is it like, what, what's more similar to? I want to just give you a short brief if you want, if you're interested. Yes. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. So uh, it's, it's said to be descendant of the uh, Pahlavi language or Middle Persian. It used, it used to be the official language of the Sasanid Empire. So that this dialect is the most close related of the old Persian. Our culture is also preserved, even, even though we're not Muslim, we wear hijab, but still we have preserved uh, Persian culture, which was practiced before Islam. Yeah. Like yeah, my mom, yeah. uh, she uses a thing, I think it's pan, it's called it's pan. It's pan. Like yeah. they say something in house, I don't know, it's just some, some. I think it's an ancient ritual to cleanse it's the pan do yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And do you, do you celebrate like Persian festivals like Nowruz and Yalda and? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah that's wonderful because like so the other thing that a lot of people don't know the majority of uh laristani speakers are actually predominantly sunni muslim right yeah yeah we are yeah. about that i'm also very uh surprised that why we kept sunni even though all around us they are not sunni it's just really interesting yeah ourselves we speculate maybe we ran from northern part of iran to south part of iran because we're not native to south iran 
I really attached to Iran and all this stuff. I know a lot. Of it. That's that's thank wonderful you. to hear. That's yeah. awesome. And again, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Yossi and Ekbal as well. I, uh, you know, for me, this was a really, really interesting video. I loved it so much. And uh, uh, I just want to say thank you. It was really wonderful. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, I loved it. Thank you so much. Yeah. So uh, thank you so much. It was very uh, interesting to me as well. And I really love the language. Uh, I, I have some Iranian friends who speak Achmi, but like it was very uh, lovely to to listen to a story and actually I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you mm -hmm. so much. Thank you. Awesome. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it.